So now that uh, I'm actually reviewing this book, well, I might get questioned by by Homeland Security for colluding with the Russians. Oh well, it's worth it. Realm Walkers by Bubble Comics. Bubble is, as I've stated, kind of a Russian, Eastern European country country of your selection printing company. You'll see the names up top. Kotkov, Fedotov, Rud, Troitskaya. Very, very Slavic names. However, this is a translated book uh, that you'll be reading on Comixology. Uh, the translator is uh, Danilia Evestafiv. Sorry. Russian names are not my forte, but you get the idea. And the cover is by uh, Ivan Eliasov. So, what is this book about, Realm Walkers? Alright, let's put it together. Nice and neat in a package. Issue 1 is basically the premise of a human, a skinwalker shapeshifter that turns into a werewolf. And a young Magi in training, a very young woman, are paired together. The mortal human is paired with the ultimate weapon that can destroy anything magic-related. This book is interesting in its own way because you're, you're going to see that they go across various locales, various worlds, and most literally fight gods and demigods, mythological beings. In this first issue, the uh, Realm Walkers do fight Thor Odin's son. Yeah. Before anyone gets into copyright this, copyright that, the character that was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, later made famous by Walter Simonson, does not have exclusive copyright. Since Thor Odin's son was in Norse mythology way, way before Marvel Comics was ever in existence, anyone that uses Thor Odin's son is hereby exempt from any lawsuits. That being said, you can't use the mighty Thor, the invincible Thor, blah, blah, blah. However, if you just stick to the strict Thor Odin's son and the hammer Mjolnir, all will be well. And Realm Walkers does that. The intrepid heroes are taking on Thor Odin's son in the first book. Because, basically the gods that they have to take on have to, you know, they've become corrupt or they were corrupt to begin with. So, this book, uh, has an element of fantasy, a little bit of scoundrel, and a slight Russian slant. This is an excellently put together book by Roman Kotkov and Ivagni Fedotov. Horse Anna Rud does the artwork, and Anastasia Troitskaya does the coloring. Again, a very Russian Eastern European slant to everything. There's going to be plenty of the translated Russian humor and fatalism. Of course, in this book, too, there's going to be a theme that, uh, basically, this mortal man is also fighting with his weapon. He has to, you know, balance out whether or not to use the weapon because he's basically got this ultimate weapon, but it can consume his soul. Hence, he has to decide whether or not he wants to use it or not. And as everyone uh, goes through, they'll collect the various artifacts from the gods and demigods to bring it back to their controller. As everyone will notice, the theme is basically that Everyone has their own demons to fight against while they're fighting against 
the various demigods and demons and gods that they face. This is a very good book. You can find it mostly on uh, Comixology. I don't know if you can do a print. I picked mine up for... I'm going to say I picked up issue one for $1.99 and then the other issues were three ninety nine. Not a bad price to pay for these books. I recommend this one. Now, just remember if you've got any time... Look below, I've got plenty of links. You can also like, you can subscribe, and, of course, give your shout-outs and your comments below. So, I do thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. Everyone, please have a good day.